Welcome guys, this is Mauricio from cloudwords.net and you're watching video number three of our series Dropbox versus Google Drive versus OneDrive versus iCloud versus Amazon Cloud Drive. I know this is really massive and that's why we've broken it down into individual sections that you can access right here in the playlist or if you like it, you can read our in-depth article with all our findings here on the site as well or down in the description box below. This video is about Dropbox. I hope you enjoy it and remember to subscribe to get more awesome content like this one. Dropbox is certainly a veteran among all these cloud storage services. While all the other companies listed here just provide cloud services as an addition to the other services they offer, for Dropbox, this is basically their bread and butter. That is why there is no room for error, error for them and we're really gonna dive deep into Dropbox. Let's start with pricing. Like all the other services, Dropbox is a so-called freemium service. They provide two gigabytes of free storage and you can get 500 megabytes extra for every friend that you refer to Dropbox, up to 18 gigabytes, I believe. Then you have the ability to upgrade to a pay tier where you currently get one terabyte for $9.99 per month. Plenty of sinking space, but is it enough? Well, we'll see in the next chapters. <laughs> Next up in our um, video is file syncing. Dropbox is a file syncing service and not a backup service, which means if a file is deleted from your Dropbox folder from any device, the file is deleted everywhere. This can lead to confused, confusion, especially when collaborating with more than a few people who don't know how Dropbox really works. Although it can definitely retain older versions of files, and that's a good one, it keeps old files after 30 days of being notified or deleted, and you can recover files older than that too, but you will need a pro account to use that feature. I really have to say, file syncing in Dropbox was really the fastest. I tested it with both my Android device, my iPhone device, and my other computers, and the files were almost instantly synced. Dropbox uses some very, very sophisticated algos to incrementally sync larger files as well, so that only the change portions of these files are uploaded uh, to the cloud, saving time and obviously bandwidth as well, as well if you're um, behind a bandwidth limited connection. What I don't like about the app was that it doesn't allow users to directly upload folders on the web app or the mobile app. The only way to directly upload folders is to copy and paste it into the local Dropbox folder on your computer and then let the app do the syncing basically. Also for Dropbox, we did our speed analysis. For starters, there's one bummer though. I could not download my test files folder from the web as I did with Google Drive. So we measured the speed resyncing our test folder. Dropbox uses Amazon's infrastructure, so speed is expected to be top notch as well. And in fact, we could resync our files in just about a couple of minutes. It was really great. Now, let's look at how sharing works with Dropbox. Sharing is pretty easy with Dropbox as well. In fact, that's what I love about it. And we all know Google Drive copied these features because they work so well and the system users are used to the system. There are two ways to share a file or a folder in Dropbox. You can share the link of the file and put the visibility as can be seen with anybody with a link. The other way is to directly invite users by entering their email address. This way, the file or folder being shared will become common among all the people invited and they would be able to keep tabs on any changes that may occur within the folder. Also, inviting someone means a notification is sent to you when they access or modify the folder or file within it. Now, working with Dropbox, becomes a little difficult when you're looking to collaborate. When people work on the same document and save it, Dropbox creates a conflicted copy, what they call it, and it can get difficult to decipher what is the correct document, when has it been last edited, so it's not an ideal solution, basically. The one complaint I had with Dropbox in the past was that it didn't allow me to edit my documents right from the app, just like OneDrive and Google Drive did. But all that changed when Dropbox announced its surprising collaboration with ta -da, Microsoft Office. The new integration with Microsoft Office Online is amazing since it lets you edit Dropbox files directly 
on uh, Microsoft uh, Office Online, both on the web and on the mobile app. And for the mobile app, you need both Dropbox and Office 365 app, obviously, installed. I am definitely loving this new feature. It's like having the best of both worlds. OK, so what about mobile access and photo storage? The entire interface on the mobile is clean, simple, clear. It just works on almost all kinds of devices and it's not limited to just one or two platforms. So I'm looking at you, iCloud. <laughs> there are applications for Linux, Windows, Macs, iPhone, iPad, Android, and finally, Blackberry. Who knew? Right when you log into Dropbox from your phone, you get an option to sync your camera roll with the app. And apart from that, there are basically no extra features for photo storage, no filters or any fancy stuff. I did notice that downloading pictures directly from Dropbox to your phone's local storage is a little mm, difficult. There is an option to make available offline, but that doesn't put the pictures in your album folder. You can only access them through the Dropbox app. There is a separate option called Export, which lets you get the photos into your album on your phone. Now, I really hope I could give you just a little insight into Dropbox as a cloud storage solution. Remember, we're comparing in this series the major services. So make sure to subscribe and not miss a video from this series. You can access the videos right here on the side. And I really hope you hit the like button and follow us in the next video. Bye-bye.